Hello and welcome to our video about flexclip.com. It's a super easy way to make awesome videos even if you're new to this stuff. We'll show you all the cool things it can do step by step. Let's get started and make your video journey a breeze. So here is how the dashboard looks like. It's pretty simple and it's easy to understand. And that's the link right there, flexclip.com. Now let's, deep, let's dive deep in to the website. So go first of all, you can go ahead, choose a template from here. So let's say um, you're looking for a YouTube video, you can just go over to social media and click YouTube right there. And then you can choose a template from there. Or you can do this later in the editing interface as well. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and make a video from scratch. So you can go ahead and click create a video. Once you're here, you can choose the edit mode and ratio. So let's say you're making a YouTube video, you can go ahead with 16 ratio 9. Or let's say you're making a mobile or a social media video, you can go ahead with 4 ratio 5. But in my case, I'm going to go ahead with the most common one, which is 16 ratio 9. So I'm going to click on that and click get started. Make sure you've chosen the timeline mode because that's where you can edit. So get started. And this is where all the magic happens. So let's go and explore all the interface of this website. So first of all, it's going to give you a pop-up to import the media. So let's say you want to import some files, which you can go ahead and start editing. So you can just click browse and you can go ahead here. You can choose the files you want and you can click open. So once you do that, it's going to load in all the files here and you can go ahead and start editing. Now I'm going to give you an overview of the whole website. So let's get started. So the first thing is templates. So here you can search up all the templates you're looking for. So let's say YouTube intro. So YouTube intro, you can search that in. And as you can see, it's gonna show you many intros. You can even be more specific. For example, tech YouTube intro, gaming YouTube intro, and then you can go ahead and choose anything from here. There are a lot of options to choose from. As you can see, there are outros as well, there are intros as well. So all you have to do is drag them onto the timeline. So once you drag them, you can click on them and you can click apply all in page one. And then it's gonna go ahead and come on the timeline. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to wait and as you can see it's going to be added onto the timeline. So as you can see now you can go feel free to change the name and everything you want. Well that's just the first thing that this app can do. You can even import your own templates if you want or you can save your own templates. So yeah there's a lot of stuff you can do. So here you can choose your clip, you can adjust the speed, you can give filters so you can increase the brightness, exposure and a lot of stuff. You can even add some filters, for example, this, that. You can go ahead and play around with all the settings. You can even adjust the speed. So let's say this is a bit too slow. You can go ahead and increase the speed to 1.5 or 1.6 according to your needs. Next is the media. So this is, um, we already looked at it. You want to import files. You can click browse and import all the files you want. And they're going to show up right here. Next is mo one of the most funnest option in editing, which is the text. So here you can go ahead and bring in any text you want. So in our case, we already have one here, but let's say you're looking for a more stylish one. You can go ahead and bring any. For example, there's one right here, the juice one. You can go ahead and bring it here if you want. So yeah. And as you can see, there are many icons as well. So social media, the animations are automatically there. So all you have to do is drag them onto your timeline right here and change the name and etc. So as you can see, any beginner can go ahead and use this app. Next is also a very good feature, which is subtitles. So let's say you want to add subtitles to your video. Let's say you're speaking in the background and you want to add subtitles. You can click auto AI subtitles, but that's only the function if you have the upgraded version. But if you don't have, you can go ahead and write manual subtitles, so you always have another option. Next is the video. So personally, this is the part I like the most. So let's say you're looking for some videos which you can use without any copyright issues on YouTube. You can always go ahead here and you can choose anything you want. So for example, the birthday, you can write birthday. And it's going to show a clip of a birthday clip. So you can just drag that into the timeline and you can use it anytime you want. So and here you can make sure that these are all without any copyright issues. So you won't have to worry about any stuff like that. Next, you can go ahead and over to the photos. And personally, this is the best thing about the whole app. So this text to image, it's an AI function of course, so you can click on that. And let's say you wanna generate an image using AI, so I'm just gonna click use an example. So this is the example, a, maj a majestic elephant with large tusks standing in a lush green field batted in warm sunlight. So you can even choose the ratio, 16, 9, 9, 16 or 1, 1. 
in my case I'm going to go with 16 ratio 9 and then I can click ahead on generate you can also run whatever else you want but in my case I'm just going to go with this example so you can click generate you're going to wait and it's going to generate a very beautiful image so I'm just going to wait for it and as you can see there are two AI generated images so you can just click add as a scene and yeah it's going to be there into your timeline well next you can go over to audio so here is all, here are all the music so you can choose any music you want to add as a background to your video you can just click on plus and it's going to add to the timeline and you can go ahead and do that as well you can even search up many audio you can even search the mood the genre and a lot of stuff so as you can see it's very user friendly next are the elements so here as you can see the subscribe button the like button the, subs the notification and all those kind of stuff so you can click see all and you can go ahead and use any of these without any issues it's quite simple just drag onto the timeline and it's going to add a scene and it's as easy as that and as you can see they also have the animation there so as you can see it's automatically moving so that's also a very good function next are the overlays so here you can add different overlays for example logo overlay so you can just drag that in you can replace that with the real logo so you can see there are many other functions so that's an overview of this app so all right guys that'll be it for the video i hope it helps you out and i'll be seeing you guys next time peace out